y'all. Today we got another episode of Nostro Random. This is episode two, and we got a new guest. I'm gonna introduce himself. What's up? It's Z. G. W. A. P. O. The baby goat. Better watch out, oh, man. You can find me everywhere on Instagram. You can subscribe on YouTube, Apple Music. Um, Z. G. W. A. P. O. Z. Wap. Yep. We got Z. Wap over here. We about to um get into this interview. And just like randoms, it's not so random. So it's not gonna be a bunch of random ass questions. We want some serious, like a serious sit down shit. So, like, yeah. so what was it like, like your childhood growing up? Um, <clears throat> I ain't gonna lie, like, I can't really remember shit. But when it comes to what I remember, like, at first it was all cool. You feel me? I was with my great grandma. Everything was good. You know how that love is. You feel me? Um, and then I moved back in with my mom in the hood, and then from, what, 13 to 17, I was locked up. Dang. Yeah, so I ain't really had a childhood. Other than that, I was bullshitting my whole childhood, you feel me, drama. So how old are you now? Um, I'm 20, I'm about to be 21 in four days. Damn. So, Y'all better have a waffle. Happy birthday. Four days coming up. Damn, it's not gonna come out to like 2022 though. <laughs> but you know, we gonna we gonna wish him a happy birthday. You feel me? Happy birthday to the baby go. I'm about to turn the fuck up. I might even drop something. Shit, yeah, do a little birthday song. Yeah. Birthday EP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Saying yeah, yeah. I might do that for Damn. How did um how did music play a part in your life? Um, and what was it like making your first song? Um <clears throat> for real, for real, I started making music when I got locked up. Um, yeah, so I, uh, I started writing this shit, like, off of doing it, little. You feel me? Doing that shit, being bored in this, you feel me? The sad was doing dumb shit like that. Boom. I just started really just writing down little words and shit. You feel me? I always love to make music, though, like, you feel me? I always listen to music all the time. Um, that was just me. Um, and playing football, but you feel me? I felt like I turned up on football when I was listening to music, but I got locked up and I really started doing that little beats and shit, writing down and shit. And then when I came home, I recorded my first song. Um, I don't even know if that shit's still out on SoundCloud, but it probably is. I forget, but it was me and my other man. And that shit really, like, made me feel like that's what kept me home, you feel me? That shit, I felt like I used the music to keep me sane, like, instead of running around doing dumb shit, I go to the studio, you know? That shit really turned me up. Who was your musical inspiration growing up? Um, damn, that's a good one because I really fucked with Lil Wayne, heavy. Like, off the Carter, I was really fucking with it. Shh, Lil Wayne, heavy. And then I started listening to Eminem a little bit. Yeah. And then, like, for real, for real, that's when I really started. When I found who Dirk was um, from Bang Bros, off of Bang Bros, they, I got right into the drum music. I'm looking, like, who the fuck these niggas da, 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 da. Chief Keef, Lil Dirk, you feel me, Lil Reese, Booga. I'm, I'm in love with that. I'm in love with the drum music now. So it was really like Lil Dirt, Chief Keith, but it started with Lil Wayne and Eminem. I'm not even gonna lie, I fuck with Dirt because of the drill, but like, I don't know, he be making like relatable music. I don't know, the way he be like, I like melodic shit. That's yeah. what like got me tuned into you too. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, the way he be like, it's like, what's the word, trap show, I think? I don't it's know. It's like, um, I, there ain't no word, but I just like that type of melodic shit. Like, you feel it when you listen yeah. to it. Damn, what is it called? It's called like. It need a name if it don't got no name. I don't know, for, for shout out PMB, but I feel yeah, like PMB started that shit. Started R&B, R&B. Yeah. R&B. I feel like PMB really started that shit. Shout out PMB, though. Um, how was, what was it like making the first song you made? And were you nervous your first time in the studio? Um, dang, no, 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 let me tell you something. Like, boom, I came home. Second day I came home, I went to the studio. My boys took me to the studio. I knew what I was doing because, damn, I forgot to say this. Nah, 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 nah. Because I was on house address making music. And I was like, 
I was like 14 when I got my first charter. I, I, they gave me house arrest for like three months. So I would hang, I, I ordered this little $15 mic off of Amazon and I had this fake ass laptop. It was my mom's laptop, but like, I downloaded this fake ass fruit, fruit tunes or fruit loops or whatever. And I would hang it, and I had these uh, computer speakers and shit in my room. So I had, I had a laptop, speakers, and then I hanged a little mic into my closet. So I locked myself in the closet, but I had them recording all the time, you feel me? So I was really recording like that. But my first song, for real, for real, was when I came home, yeah, I was 17, came home. My boys came into the studio, and that shit love, bro. I felt like I let out, bro, like, weight off my shoulder, you feel me? I felt like, damn, this is what I love, you feel me? Fuck jail, I love this, fuck the streets, I love this, but you feel me, it's never fuck the streets, but it was like, fuck being an asshole to everybody, I love this music shit, you feel me? Yeah. Ever since then, I'm gonna keep going, keep going. Definitely like the outlet, too. Yeah, yeah. When did you really start to get music, y'all, and what made you be like, all right, I'm not gonna stop playing and take this shit seriously? I dropped this song on SoundCloud. It was with my boy um, MK Keys. Shout out my boy um, MK Keys, man. Y'all can follow him too. Um, I dropped this song with him called Flowing and Shit in like, 20, like 2018, I think. Yeah, like 2018, we dropped this song called Flowing. That shit hit like 10K, bro. Everybody, everybody was singing that shit. It was a good, like, all this honey in my system flowing, wait, like, wait, huh? how that shit go? Damn, I'll find that shit, we'll put it in, I'll find that shit. And I'm gonna look for it, damn, yeah, that shit was fire, though, but, um, when I made that shit with him, we, um, that shit just, like, everybody loved that shit, they're like, damn, keep going, keep going, that shit, just, I just built clout from that shit, you feel me, mad clout from that shit, bro, Psh, that shit was lit, I'm like, fuck this, I'm doing this music shit, bro, that was it. What was the process like for making a ticket off the hill? Cause you gonna have like a lot of you got some drill songs like No Auto, Walk Down and shit, and then you got a lot of songs like mm-hmm. Bad Door, This Then. Um, yeah, I'm gonna find that shit, bro. Fuck that. Um, this was, what got you in tune for that album? Like, what the process? I feel was? like damn, you wanna know something, brother? Um, they didn't, they didn't expect that shit. I wasn't really dropping music like that, you feel me? I was just, um, I was dropping music on SoundCloud, but I was really just doing, like, snippets and shit. But, like, when I made Ticket Out the Hood, that was really, like, me introducing myself, you feel me? So, like, I don't, I don't know if they really expected melody and all that shit, but, like, I felt like I'm going to give it all. Because I could do it all, you feel me? So I gave it the melody shit. What was the question again? <laughs> uh, what, what was it like making it? Like, what was the, the process and the vibes? Um, oh yeah, the process. Okay, okay, okay. Damn, that shit didn't even make no sense. Um, what was the process of it? I felt like, um, I felt like during the process of me making it, I was going through shit, you feel me? I was going through family problems, I was going through money problems, I was going through life problems, missing my dogs, niggas dying, like, so I felt like I couldn't really talk to nobody, you feel me? So I felt like, fuck it, I'ma just really talk to the mic, let that be my therapy, and then I'ma really let y'all hear what I'm going through, you feel me? So everybody can understand what I'm going through, not just one person, me and my therapist, you feel me? So that's what it really was. I felt like all the problems being thrown at me, I was just collecting them shits, following them shits up, and then I just let it out in the studio. Mm-hmm. Well, this is the last question, and we kind of did this in a random, but you got anything to look out for? Like, anything new coming out soon? What can we, what can we expect from you? Um, honestly, since my birthday coming up, I'm about to, uh, Actually, what do you want to tell the rap industry too? What do you what do you want to let everybody know too? I want to let the rap industry know. Listen, man, when y'all see me and I get in there, it's yeah. over. I'm in there when I get in there. 
like swimwear. You yeah. feel me? I'm gonna fuck the game up. Y'all ain't see me now, but when y'all see me, I know y'all gonna see me. I'm gonna make y'all pay attention, you feel me? And shout out to all the independent artists, shout out to all the big artists that's really doing it, you feel me? Cause like, shit, y'all motivating me. This shit keeping me, you feel me? On my feet, and I'm trying to get to where y'all at, but patch y'all, you feel me? I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna get patched all of y'all. Damn, I'm gonna turn the fuck up, man. The industry gonna hate and love me. I got some competition. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, man. And before we end, we got some bonus questions, too. So basically, I wanna know how was your 2021 so far, and how do you want your 2022 to go? My 2021 taught me lessons, man. It taught me, um,. Tell me you gotta be humble through life, you feel me? A lot of shit gonna happen. Um, it taught me how to love, it taught me how to, yeah, how to see fake love. Um, it taught me how to manage money. Definitely lost a lot of money, you feel me? Um, that shit, that shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I definitely made a bag off that pandemic shit, man, you feel me? I fucked it up, but I still got blood, man. You gotta, you gotta get back, everybody get back, man. So that taught me how to really get back, you feel me? <clears throat> um, and it taught me how to um, stay humble pretty much. And my 2022, my 2022 is gonna, is gonna be me showing y'all how I can be cocky. Cause I'm gonna be fucking the game up. You feel me? 2022, I'm gonna fuck the game up. I was humble all 2021, going through all problems. And now 2022, all them problems is gone. And I got nothing but money and time. And I'm gonna fuck the patience up. Watch. Yeah, you got JWL, you better watch out, bitch. Drums or flats? Drums or what? Drums or <laughs> Drums or flats, like chicken. Chicken wings. Is that the drums or the fat ones? Damn, no bones. I fuck with bones. Yeah, I don't bones. even know. What, wait, the flats. No, I'm sure. The flats. I don't even know what the, the drums. I fuck with the drums. They got a lot of chicken on But the bones, I want the whole dang. I want the whole dang, baby. Last bonus question we got is it's going to be a mental health check. So, how are you doing mentally? getting better. I ain't gonna lie. Um, <clears throat> I was definitely fucked up in the head at one point, but I'm definitely getting better, man. I'm trying to stay humble because I got two beautiful daughters that need me and I got a family, you feel me? So in order for me to feed my family, I got to make sure I'm healthy, you feel me? I got to make sure I'm happy. I got to make sure I'm stable in the best condition. But I'm um, definitely going through it, man. I ain't gonna lie. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. It's always good to Always remember, it's always a light in every tunnel. And whenever it's done a thunderstorm, the sun will shine after. And for me. Damn, man. Definitely fucked up, but I'm telling you, man. 2021, I mean 2022, my year. That's my year to shine, man. That's my year to shit on everybody. That shit don't mean for me. Nothing but success, all 2022. I mean, I'm doing favors. For, I'm going to do favors for the ones that couldn't do me favors. You feel me? I ain't even going to lie. That's how I'm coming. Anybody that couldn't do me shit, I'm gonna do something for y'all, like, just because. Alright, y'all, this is the end of that interview.